So the ETS STEM programme is a quality improvement programme for colleges and work-based learning providers. Um, and it aims uh, to move people on from where they are at the moment. It aims to actually get those kind of ideas that people have actually had about how to be outstanding and about how uh, to move their students on and do something about it. Um, it, it gives, it's giving people the impetus and the motivation to change uh, and think differently about some things. If you ask people that have actually been involved in these programmes, they, they often say it's a relief because they have all sorts of ideas about how things should actually be. Um, they often have very good ideas about um, how the curriculum should work, how careers advice should actually work, and this is a way of them just trying some things out. It's like a sand pit, I suppose you could say. So that's what I'm trying to do, and that's actually the aim of this programme, is to try and get people to take a few risks and see what happens. On the National STEM Centre website, there are 33 um, networks have produced a huge array of resources, and I don't really have time to go through each of them in, in any meaningful detail. Organisations have actually looked very carefully at why... Um, um, there's so few people, women going into motor vehicle and they've asked female motor vehicle um, apprentices how to actually make the whole thing more female friendly. Again, it's really available for people to have a look at. Uh, SEMTA have actually done some really impressive work on their own apprentices and they actually ask how well have you been prepared for your, um, for your apprenticeship based on you know, what kind of skills did you actually need. There's plenty of teaching and learning examples as well.